Prime Minister speaks to the importance of accountability throughout the budget process. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Leslie Ann Johnson. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says accountability must prevail throughout the 2019 budget process as government prepares to present the 2019 budget in a matter of months. He was addressing government officials and stakeholders recently at a budget retreat where he said expenditure controls will be strengthened by upgrading procedures, processes and policies to reinforce accountability and compliance mechanisms. There must be methodology for not or some results or some penalties we should say for not meeting for for not doing what we have to do as far as accountability is concerned. There's too much looseness in our system where things are allowed to be done and no one is called to account. In the final analysis, the problem becomes a political one. Dr. Mitchell said finance officers will be given the responsibility to heighten the monitoring process and one must be mindful that accountability is crucial when dealing with the country's resources. This is an opportunity to reflect on how we approach the business of people. Now, these are indeed the people's resources. These are indeed people's resources. That's why many times I think we operate as if we do not know that this is indeed the people's resources. And therefore, colleagues, I call on us to whatever we can do to ensure that we maximize the opportunity for the people of our country. With this exercise today, with our understanding of where we're heading, the planning process in place, and with the leadership in place, I believe that we will go from strength to strength. The 2019 budget will focus heavily on creating employment opportunities, promoting efficiency in public spending, enhancing the delivery of the public service and project implementation. The Caribbean Court of Justice Advisory Committee has launched its CCJ Quiz, which gives carnival enthusiasts the opportunity to win tickets to various Spice Mass events. That's according to its chairman, Sir Lawrence Joseph, during an exclusive interview with the Government Information Service. Sir Lawrence stressed the importance of keeping the discussions alive so that the island does not have a repeat of what transpired in 2016 when none of the seven bills were passed in the constitutional referendum. The quiz, he says, is the committee's way of keeping alive the discussion of acceding to the CCJ as the final Court of Appeal even during the festive season. The first set of prizes will be for the carnival season. Tickets will be made available to winners of, of those um, prizes and we intend to have other prizes as well after the carnival season. Questions will be sent to various media houses radio, television, and they will be asked to call in and they'll be asked a question. Every day questions will be asked and once they provide the answers, they will be entitled to various prizes. He highlighted some of the benefits of acceding to the CCG. People really has to give serious consideration to the advantages of acceding to the Caribbean Court of Justice instead of the Privy Council. And there are several advantages. It's, it costs very much less to appeal to the CCJ instead of the Privy Council. It's more accessible and various other advantages as will be determined from time to time as the campaign proceeds. The second phase of the quiz will continue after Carnival, leading into November, which is the proposed month for the staging of the CCG referendum. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Carnival Saturday night, Panorama is back at the National Stadium. I'm a Grenadier. Spice Mass Corporation and the Grenada Steel Bands Association present Panorama Showdown 2018. Bigger. 
better and ready for the stage. Nine big bands: Pan Usher, Republic Bank, Angel Heart, Digital Florida All Stars, Melody Warriors, Rainbow City All Stars, Koyaba New Dimensions, Suzuki Food Fear, Pan Wizards, Grand Roy Pan Angels, and 2016 Champion Flo Comancheros. Over 1,000 players and a full stadium, rhythm sections, guests, performances, and giveaways all night. Carnival Saturday night, August 11th, showtime 7 p.m. Tickets $40 adults, children $10. Panorama Showdown 2018, Carnival Saturday night. Pan is back. Continuing the news, a local sociologist is warning Grenadians against becoming 21st century mental slaves. Claude Douglas was speaking at the closing ceremony of the 2018 Rainbow City Festival, which ended with a flambeau march from Dunfermline to Grenville on Monday. Douglas said the festival fits into this year's emancipation theme, celebrating our ancestors, breaking the chains, and shaping our future. He said for us to shape our future, we must move from physical to mental emancipation. If we are so emancipated, then why? Why is it, for example, that so many of our young people are bleaching their skin after 180 years? 1st of August, 1838, we still are very uncomfortable with our physio physiological features. That means that we are not fully emancipated. So there is another emancipation to come. And the late Robert Nestor Marley echoed that call when he sang Redemption Song, asking us to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Minister for Youth and the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and the Arts, the Honorable Kate Lewis commended the St. Andrews Development Organization for its efforts to keep the tradition alive. She reiterated the importance of moving away from slavery towards social and economic diversification. We have that freedom and as a people, we have to be able to stand up for what is right. We must be able to do what is right and to enjoy that freedom in the best way possible. Let us continue to celebrate our culture. Let us continue to celebrate our rich cultural heritage. And one day before the culmination of the festival, six young ladies participated in the Miss Afro-Caribbean 2018 Queen Show at the Deluxe Cinema in Grenville. Representing Cuba, Miss Danica Coburn captured the title, as well as Best Talent, Future Shock, and Ambassadorial Speech. Solani Francis, Miss Jamaica, emerged first runner-up and won Best Introduction and Interview. And Nalia Frank, Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines, captured the third spot. Six contestants participated in the show and represented Grenada, Jamaica, Cuba, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Anguilla, and Haiti. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson. <laughs>